breaking now. Life in prison for the man accused of killing another man all over a pair of sneakers. We've been following the story since the murder happened in 2012. Today we learn the killer's fate. Good afternoon. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Lauren Freeman in for Sarah. The fate of Neil Bland decided just hours ago. Jake Reiner has been following the verdict and sentencing. He joins us live downtown with what happened. Jake. Keith, this trial lasted less than a week, and the jury only took two hours to deliberate to hand down a guilty verdict, and in the same breath, the judge handing down a life sentence. He's charged with capital murder and spends the rest of his life to think about what he did. This trial came down to one thing. Did Neil Bland intentionally kill Joshua Woods or not? Defense attorney Kurt Wentz told the jury, don't convict my client of capital murder, convict him of felony murder. I think it fit the criteria of a felony murder, almost the textbook proportions. December 21st, 2012, coincidentally Bland's birthday. He and a group of three others set out on a mission that day. The motivation for this killing is incredibly sad. The idea that a pair of shoes is worth somebody's life, to even risk that life, is, is really sad. After Joshua Woods and his friend Godwin Matthew bought multiple pairs of new Air Jordan sneakers at the Willowbrook Mall, Bland and his clan followed the pair back to Matthew's place. At gunpoint, the crew demanded the prize. Matthew refused, and then bullets flew. Fourteen shots came from Bland's 40 caliber pistol, but all it took was one shot to the head of Joshua Woods to end his life. He shot at a car. It is unexcusable that that man died. This is not an excuse. I am very pleased with the verdict today. Um, justice was served. Neil Bland will spend the rest of his life in prison without the possibility of parole. Now, coming up at five, we're going to hear more from Woods' sister, Jocelyn Walls, as well as what Woods' mother said on the stand in her victim statement. We'll be coming up here at five o'clock. Jake Reiner, live in downtown KPRC, Channel 2 News.